Show us how this works, Matt. We've got a failed heating reversing valve here. On the bottom, we have a single pipe. This is going to be connected to your compressor discharge. Compressor discharge gas is going to enter into this pipe, and it's going to also enter into this capillary line here as well. So once it enters into this capillary line, it's going to feed over to this side of the reversing valve. That's going to maintain pushing the slider over to this side of the valve, mm -hmm. and discharge gas is going to act on the bottom of the slider cup, sealing this gasket against these pipes here. As discharge gas leaves the reversing valve on this pipe here, it's going to go to one coil. It's going to go to the indoor coil in this application because it's a failed heating valve. Discharge gas will go through that indoor coil, which is acting as a condenser. It's going to leave that condenser as a subcooled liquid refrigerant and then head to a metering device at the outdoor coil. Go through the outdoor coil, which is acting as an evaporator. It's going to absorb heat and boil off that refrigerant. You're going to have superheated vapor leaving that outdoor evaporator coil, and it's going to come back to the reversing valve on this pipe here. It's going to hit the suction, hit the slider cup here, and leave the reversing valve on the center.